Juan Soto shuffled his way into the league as a teenager and was immediately heralded as a hitting phenom with elite plate discipline. At just 20 years old, he was a key cog for a Nationals team that made a miraculous run to win their first World Series. In the 2020 pandemic season, Juan posted video game numbers. 2024 marks Soto's seventh year in the big leagues and third team played for already, but he is still just 25 years old at the time of this video. Recently, Juan joined the New York Yankees, an organization that would like to keep him around long term. While it is still early in the season, Juan's defense is much improved and he has some web gems to show for it. Assuming he stays healthy, Soto is building a surefire Hall of Fame resume. As always, if you enjoy, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at camp23 underscore YT and hit the bell to enable all notifications so you don't miss any future Camp 23 videos. In 2015, the Washington Nationals signed 16-year-old outfielder Juan Soto as an international free agent out of the Dominican Republic, paying him a $1.5 million signing bonus. During his first two professional seasons, Soto batted 368 and 351 respectively, demonstrating his potential as a pure hitter. In 2018, Juan tore through the minor leagues. In 39 games, he excelled for single A, high A, and double A, batting 362 with 14 homers, 52 RBIs, and more walks than strikeouts. Soto earned a promotion to the big league squad, making his MLB debut on May 20th. At just 19 years old, he was the second teenager in Nationals history, with the first being Bryce Harper in 2012. In a pinch hit appearance, Soto struck out in his only at bat. A day later, Juan was the starting left fielder and cranked his first home run in a 3-RBI game, leading the Nats to a 10-2 victory over the Padres. Due to a bizarre technicality, Soto's dinger eventually counted as his second. Juan was credited with his first during a game suspended on May 15th and completed on June 18th. On June 13th, in a 5-4 win at Yankee Stadium, Soto became the youngest player with a multi-homer performance since Andrew Jones in 1996. On June 29th, he recorded four hits and two home runs, etching his name as the only teenager to achieve both in the same game. In June, Soto batted 317, hit six homers, and drove in 15 runs. He followed this up with five more big flies and 15 RBIs in July. From August 24th to September 16th, Juan compiled a 21-game on base streak, tying Mickey Mantle and trailing only Mel Ott for the longest stretch by a teenager all time. During this span, he batted 370 with 5 homers, 19 RBIs, and 15 walks. On September 11th, Soto walloped another pair of dingers, one of which was a go-ahead shot in the 10th. Three multi-homer games set an MLB record for teenagers. While not typically known for stealing bases, Soto stole three on September 15th, two of which came in the same inning. By doing so, he became the youngest player since 1900 to steal three bases in a game, surpassing Ricky Henderson. They've won Nationals. Now Soto trying to tee off out there. See you later. Soto was named NL Rookie of the Month for June, July, and September. Soto ended the year with a 292 average, 406 on base percentage, 22 homers, 70 RBIs, and a 142 OPS+. Juan finished runner-up to Ronald Acuna Jr. in NL Rookie of the Year voting. He saw a fastball and look at it go! See you later! Facing of the second deck, 2-0 Nationals. Here he goes, and Soto launches one to right. See you later. This baby's tied up. In the first half of 2019, Soto batted 300 with 15 homers and 56 RBIs, but surprisingly did not make the All-Star team. On July 13th, down to their final out, Juan delivered a two-run bomb for his third career go-ahead home run, all against the Phillies. From July 26th to August 2nd, Soto drove in at least one run, including a homer in three straight games from July 30th to August 2nd. 
When the count reaches two strikes, Soto crouches and chokes up on the bat, allowing him to shorten his swing and use his lower half more. Juan played with a certain flair that brought considerable excitement and media attention. One of his antics, nicknamed the Soto Shuffle, describes his routine after he successfully takes a pitch for a ball. Well, most of the time. And Peterson dots the outside Ooh. corner. Bruh. The Soto Shuffle incorporates a hop and various motions that express Juan's excitement for taking a close offering. Due to its stirring up controversy, the crotch grabbing element is no longer included. For the season, Soto batted 282, amassing 34 home runs, 110 RBIs, 12 stolen bases, a 401 on base percentage, and a 142 OPS+. His 34 homers were tied for the second most by a 20-year-old in MLB history, only behind Mel Ott. The Nationals won 93 games, securing a wildcard spot and playing the Milwaukee Brewers in a one-game playoff. In a thrilling contest, Washington came back down by two in the eighth inning, capped by a Juan Soto single that scored three runs due to a Trent Grisham error. The Nats won 4-3 and faced the Dodgers in the division series. In the decisive Game 5, Soto hit a game-tying dinger against Clayton Kershaw, and Howie Kendrick drilled a go-ahead grand slam in extras. In the NLCS, the Nationals swept the Cardinals to reach the World Series, their first appearance since relocating from Montreal to Washington, D.C. in 2005. In Game 1 of the World Series, Soto tallied three hits, including a game-tying big fly and a two-run double against Garrett Cole. Game 3 fell on Juan's 21st birthday, but they were unable to secure a W. Down three games to two, the Nationals needed two straight road victories in order to win the championship. Facing Justin Verlander, Soto hit a go-ahead homer and the Nats took Game 6, 7-2. Soto became the youngest player in history to rack up three home runs in a single World Series. Down 2 to nothing after the 6th inning of Game 7, Washington manufactured 6 runs in 3 innings. In the 7th, Soto walked and scored on Howie Kendrick's go-ahead 2-run dinger. Juan added to their lead with an RBI single in the 8th. The Nationals claimed their first title in franchise history. Soto tallied 18 hits and 5 home runs in the playoffs, matching Miguel Cabrera's hit total and eclipsing his home run mark in 2003, the most by a player under 22 years old in a single postseason. Soto was recognized as a Gold Glove finalist in left field and received a 9th place finish in NL MVP voting. Well, did he get it? It's heading to left center. I think he did. See you later. A tasty homer for Juan Soto. Compared to the greatest of all time. Soto launching one high and deep to left. See you later. In 2020, Soto took his game to the next level. On August 12th, Juan belted two home runs and drove in four. On August 31st, he notched his seventh career multi-homer game. Only Hall of Famer Mel Ott had more before turning 22 years old. In August, he batted 367, hitting a whopping 11 dingers and posting 25 RBIs in 24 games. In just 47 games, during the pandemic-shortened 60-game season, he posted a 351 average, 490 on base percentage, 13 homers, 37 RBIs, and a 217 OPS+. While it was a small sample, 41 walks compared to 28 strikeouts marked his first season with more walks than Ks. By leading the National League in average, Soto took home a batting title. He also led the NL in on-base percentage, slugging, OPS, OPS+, and intentional walks. He was second in offensive war and fourth in walks. Soto was acknowledged with his first silver slugger and placed fifth in NL MVP voting. First pitch swinging, fly ball left field, towards the line, and it's gone! Soto, right center, see you way later. That almost made it to the concourse at the back of the first level. In 2021, Soto recorded his first career walk-off hit against the Braves on opening day, an RBI single in the bottom of the ninth inning. He reached base safely in 21 consecutive games from June 13th to July 4th. 
Juan Soto was an all-star for the first time, then went on a tear in the second half. In 72 games, he batted 348, hit 18 homers, and drove in 53 runs. Until the final week of the season, Soto was in the running for the NL batting crown, finishing second to Trey Turner. He ended the year with a 313 average, 29 home runs, 95 RBIs, a 999 OPS, and a 175 OPS+. Soto was the only qualified player with more walks than strikeouts. He led the league with a 465 on base percentage, 145 walks, 23 intentional walks, and a 7.1 war. His on base percentage was the highest in a full season since Chipper Jones in 2008. Additionally, his 145 walks were the most since Barry Bonds set the MLB record in a season with 232 in 2004. With 26 games reaching base at least four times, he joined Barry Bonds, Babe Ruth, and Lou Gehrig as the only players to accomplish this in a single season. Soto was awarded his second Silver Slugger and finished runner-up to his former teammate Bryce Harper in NL MVP voting. 2-2. Juan Soto lines one hard to right. Maybe it rolled into the river. Soto off speed. Juan Soto, see you way later again. On April 12th, 2022, Juan reached 100 career home runs at just 23 years old. Soto was selected to his second All-Star team and participated in the Home Run Derby. Held at Dodger Stadium, Soto put on a show, mashing 53 home runs to defeat the Mariners' Julio Rodriguez in the finals. He became the second youngest player to win the Home Run Derby, one day older than Juan Gonzalez was when he won in 1993. In July, Soto rejected an enormous 15-year, $440 million extension to stay in D.C. long term. At the time, it would have been the most lucrative contract in baseball history, but it was heavily backloaded and carried a lower average annual value. Soto's agent, Scott Boris, prefers his clients to test free agency. In a blockbuster move at the trade deadline, Washington dealt Juan Soto and Josh Bell to the San Diego Padres. The Nationals received a haul in return, with notable players including Robert Hassel III, James Wood, C.J. Abrams, and Mackenzie Gore. By Soto's standards, his regular season numbers were underwhelming. Between Washington and San Diego combined, he hit 27 homers, drove in 62 runs, walked a league-leading 135 times, and registered a 147 OPS+. His 401 on base percentage was stellar, especially considering Juan's 242 batting average. In 2022, the Padres won 89 games and clinched a playoff berth playing the Mets in a best-of-three wildcard series. Soto drove in two runs in the deciding Game 3 as San Diego advanced to play the Dodgers in the NLDS. The Padres jumped out to a 2-1 series lead, but in Game 4 found themselves down 3-0 entering the home half of the seventh inning. San Diego put together an exhilarating five-run rally to take the lead, featuring Soto's crucial single that scored the tying run. The Padres shocked the baseball world by taking down the heavily favored 111-win Dodgers. Facing the Phillies in the NLCS, Soto tied the score with a double in the midst of a five-run Padres rally during Game 2. They went on to win 8-5, and Soto homered in Games 4 and 5. The former was a go-ahead two-run blast, and the latter was a solo shot that brought them within a run. Unfortunately, San Diego's improbable run was cut short as they fell in five games. After the season, Juan was recognized with his third silver slugger. Two outs. There's a drive to right. Juan Soto stares it down. It is long gone. Population, Donnie? High drive, deep left field. Conforto going back at the wall. He's got deep again. Driven to right field. Back goes Garrett. It is gone. Juan Soto with his 14th home run of the year puts the Padres on top 13 to 1.
in 2023, Soto was one of the few bright spots on a disappointing Padres squad that finished just two games above 500. He was an all-star for the third time and assembled a strong second half, including a 286 average, 20 homers, and 62 RBIs. Playing in all 162 games, Soto batted 275, recording 35 homers, 109 RBIs, 12 stolen bases, a league leading 132 walks, and a 157 OPS. Juan secured his fourth Silver Slugger and a sixth place finish in NL MVP voting. In December, the Padres swung a deal with the Yankees, trading Juan Soto and Trent Grisham in exchange for Drew Thorpe, Johnny Brito, Kyle Higashioka, Michael King, and Randy Vasquez. Soto, high fly ball, down the right field line. Garcia back, on the track, up the wall, see ya! Drill deep to right field, there it goes, see ya! In the early stages of the 2024 season, the Yankees already feel what has been deemed the Soto effect. On opening day, he reached base three times and preserved a 5-4 lead in the ninth inning with an outfield assist to nab the Astros' Mauricio Dubon at the plate. Working with former Gold Glove center fielder Jackie Bradley Jr. led to Soto's improved fielding. Soto gained greater confidence and accuracy on his outfield throws, addressing a part of his game that needed work after regressing defensively with the Padres. Just over a month into the regular season, Soto has dazzled with several outstanding plays in right field, his primary position for the foreseeable future. On March 30th, Soto launched his first homer as a Yankee, a go-ahead solo shot against the Astros. Since 1961, he is the only player to record a go-ahead RBI in the seventh inning or later in three of his first four games with a team. Soto is the first Yankee to achieve this feat since 1920. On April 17th, Juan hit a solo homer to accrue his 500th RBI. The only players to accomplish this at a younger age include Miguel Cabrera, Alex Rodriguez, Albert Pujols, Andrew Jones, Ken Griffey Jr., and Adrian Beltre. Currently, Soto's 422 on base percentage is the highest career total among active players and is 19th all time among batters with a minimum of 3,000 plate appearances. Remember, he is still just 25 years old. It seems inevitable that he will top the Nationals' $440 million offer once he hits free agency at season's end. Let me know in the comments where you think Soto will sign. Whether he stays in New York or moves elsewhere, Juan Soto will bring a blend of passion, talent, and flair that captivates spectators and inspires a new generation of MLB players. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.